These tombstones scattered haphazardly on the Guayaguayari beach tell the story of why human skulls have been washing up on the shore. Ever since coastal erosion began tearing down Kalma Pass village, residents have been asking for help, not only for the dead, but also for those who are alive. If you take a look at the old road, if you take a drive in there and, and take a look at Randy Mitchell House, you'll realize where Randy Mitchell House is. He's at the brink, and he is one of our elderly in Guayaguay. If I am sure, he in his 90s. And I would really and truly like for him to be comfortable in his twilight years. Hindman says more skulls will be found if something is not done soon. He says that since the 17th century, prominent families including the Alves, Catos, Ferriers, Hindman and Job families have been buried here and it's agonizing to see their ancestors' remains washing away in the sea along with the history of their coastal community. If nothing being done, I almost sure by the end of this year you always hear approximately about 10 skulls being oh, found. Because as I mentioned in the early mm -hmm. that is the front of the cemetery. Now, while the Ministry of Works has done a seawall and coastal revetment works, the residents say more has to be done. A mass erosion has taken place and even where the government has, has um, placed the wall, it doesn't, it doesn't help that area. Because while we up here might have slight protection now, that area is open to the, to, to the sea and, and the other elements. Resident Arlene Mitchell says houses are on the brink as the erosion gets worse. At any point in time, we can have a disaster like we had further down, where an entire home fell into the ocean. So far, I spoke with um, Coastal Erosion Unit. Uh, that was yesterday and today pertaining to the reports that they would have done for the gradual um, destruction of the land. What the information I have is that the project would continue but not in this area. CNC3 News reached out to the director of the Coastal Protection Unit, Kerry Shepard, for comment, but calls and messages went unanswered. Minister of Works Rohan Sinanan told us he was engaged in a meeting and could not immediately respond. Radically Silver, CNC3 News.